Hey guys, welcome to the Massive Iron Channel. I'm Steve Shaw, Editorial Director at TigerFitness.com and Muscle and Brawn Nutrition CEO. Guys, I got a great question today from EZ. Um, he is a younger gentleman, 21 years old, that spent some time doing a lot of excessive running, got down to 110 pounds, and he's feeling frustrated because he can't get stronger. He wants to build muscle. He wants to build strength. He wants a better body. He wants more strength. But he's frustrated. He doesn't know what to do. So I'm going to give some advice to Easy in this uh, video. Before I get into this topic, guys, if you have a question, check out the link below. The best questions I turn into videos just like this. They come straight to my inbox. So I'm going to read to you this question, and hang with me because this is uh, this is a this is a solid story, and I really want to help this gentleman. It says, "Help me, B H U D, the big hairy ugly dude." I apologize in advance for the long email. Um, I write because I respect your opinion more than anyone in the YouTube community. Thank you. Easy says, I'm 21 years old, but I'm a late bloomer. My voice didn't drop until senior of high school. Uh, I was once 5'5", 175, fat kid. Um, still competed athletically, etc. He says, I became extremely underweight two years ago from excessive running and poor nutrition. Over the course of 12 months, um, he started at 110 pounds. He took up weightlifting and currently weighs 131 pounds. So Easy has added 21 pounds to his frame since he discontinued abusing himself from running excessive running and poor nutrition. My lifts suck. That's what Easy says. And I'm still working on form. Squat 140, bench 125, deadlift 215. Despite the lifts being low, I can't seem to progress by adding weight to the bar every workout. Okay, I'm going to stop you here, Easy. I'm going to stop you here because this is this is a trap I see a lot of guys get into on linear progression. I don't know what program you're using. Um, there are a lot of linear progression programs out there like strong lifts and starting strength. And when I say linear progression, guys, uh, for those of you that aren't familiar with linear progression, it's the concept that you add weight to the bar every workout. Add weight to the bar every workout on squats, bench, deadlift. Here's the thing. That only works for a limited amount of time, no matter who you are, okay? No matter who you are, it's simply not sustainable. I also don't believe it's the best way to build muscle and strength. Is it a good way to build muscle and strength? Yes. Is it a frustrating way? Yes. Because the focus is adding weight each week. It's not so much on making, here's what I want to focus on, okay? Instead of just adding weight each week and that being your singular focus, what I want you to do and listen to this because this is important and it's going to it's going to give you better quality strength gains it's going to give you better quality muscle gains and I'll explain why instead of that singular focus on adding weight at the expense of form or adding weight no matter what week in and week out that becomes frustrating because you're going to have bad weeks or you pr progress simply isn't linear for everyone it's simply not sustainable so when you go into the gym Focus on making every set count. Push every set for as many quality reps as possible. As many, as many quality reps as possible. Stop the set when you feel like you might fail on the next rep or if you feel like your form's going to break down. You only want to perform quality reps with good form. So you're pushing every set to the limit, okay? You're pushing every set for as many reps as possible using good form. Okay, this will help you progress naturally strength wise. So you'll be making continual progress. You might be doing 145 on squats for seven reps today. And then say it takes you three workouts to get to 145 to eight. Who cares? You know you're making progress. That type of progress is sustainable, is sustainable. You can add reps. You can look back and say, I added a rep over where I was two weeks ago. I'm making progress. This is how it's done. This is how I did it. If you follow this method, you will build a lot of strength and muscle mass over the course of the next five years. Now, there's another benefit to this as well. The deeper into a set you get, the more muscle fibers you recruit. So if you just are doing random five rep sets, which are effective, I'm not saying this isn't effective, but I believe there's a better way. The deeper into a set you push, the more muscle fibers you're recruiting. The more muscle fibers you're recruiting, the more you're getting out of that set. 
Okay, you're stimulating more muscle growth. You're getting more bang for your buck out of that set. And you're progressing naturally. You're, nat you're naturally progressing. This is auto-regulated progression. You're progressing as your body allows. You're, per you're, you're going to be listening to your body and, and not performing reps at the expense of form. You're going, to, you're going to be able to focus on form. You're going to be able to focus on increasing by one rep instead of just trying to add five pounds to the bar every week. That simply doesn't work for long and doesn't work for everybody. So easy, my best advice is to refocus. Go from linear progression to trying to make every set count, maximize every set, push every set for as many quality reps as possible. Stop that set when you feel like you might form, fail on the next rep or when your form goes to crap. You might be like, well, what if I, I what if I think I'm going to fail on the next rep, but I could have got one more rep? Who cares? The point is you're going to try to improve by one more rep every workout, one or two more reps. This type of progress seems petty. It seems trivial. But when you use this method, those little reps add up and you are going to be a lot stronger a year from now. And one more point easy. You need to make sure your diet is on point. You can't guess about diet because you are underweight. You need to make sure you're getting in 180 to 200 grams of protein a day because you're underweight right now. And you need to make sure your calories are on point so you're gaining about two pounds, about two pounds a month. That's a healthy, sustainable rate for you. And I would run that rate of weight gain till you get up to about 160 and reassess. So guys, hope this video has been of some help. If you have any questions or comments, again, check out the link below. If you've made it this far in this video and have yet to subscribe to my channel, please do. I'd appreciate the support. So guys, as always, thanks for watching. Have a great day.